Anthony Trusty Car Products Testing Studio and for another of our product testing videos. Um, I apologize straight off for a little bit of background noise and if the flashing lights are bothering you, we're actually doing a battery uh, jump start te test video today using the Ring uh, portable jump starter. Um, so basically what we're trying to do straight away is just kill the battery on this car as much as possible. Uh, so obviously we've got the lights on full beam, we've got the hazards going, we've got fans on inside the car, we've got the radio running, we've got everything on the car that could possibly kill the battery. Um, so any second, it has been running for a while now, uh, I'd imagine that the battery will start to die. Uh, as soon as it does so, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, have a little bit of a test with this product from Ring and see if we can use this to jump start the engine uh, and see if it does what it's meant to do and be uh, a suitable thing to keep in the car as a mobile device to get you going in times of need. Right, so we've had the lights and all the electrical equipment, everything in the car running for quite some time now. In fact, the lights have just about died. Everything else has died, including the battery. Uh, Pete's just going to try and turn the car over just to prove that. Nothing. Nothing, it's just like me clicking. No, this is dead, <laughs> completely dead. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to get the, uh, the ring device and see if we can restart the engine so it would help you out if this happened to you when you're on the go and stuck in the middle of nowhere sort of thing. Uh, so we'll have a go at that now for you. Okay, so the product itself is the uh, Ring Mini Jump Starter Power Pack. Uh, it looks a little bit like this. Uh, it's a reasonably sized thing. It's not the smallest thing in the world, but it is small enough to do portable and mobile. Uh, so you can keep it in your car. And, uh, probably took it away quite nicely somewhere and, and not be too inconvenient. Uh, it comes with the two jump leads attached to it, uh, which actually disconnect and connect for uh, storage. Um, before use, you'd have to make sure that you charge this up. So the idea is you charge it up at home. Um, fully charge it and then keep it in your car for times of need. Uh, it's suitable for cars up to a two litre engine in size uh, and then you literally just connect it to the battery and it should jump start your car for you. Um, so nice mobile little device, we'll now test if it does what it says on the tin essentially. Okay, so we did pre-charge the machine obviously for the video, so we're now gonna set it up, uh, connect it how you should. Uh, so first of all, you just put the power light on, it tells you how much battery indicator you've got. So we've gone down one bar. Um, that's because we have had a bit of a play with it already. Uh, so we're down to two bars of battery there. Um, so what you do is you find a place to lay it where it's nice and stable in the car. Connect up to the various points without killing yourself. This is me. <laughs> but there's plenty of uh, handle to grip so there's no risk there. And then you press the battery icon there, or the engine icon rather. And then we are, as soon as you get a green light on the front, you're ready to go with a jump start. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay, so it's all connected up. Uh, we're now gonna see if we can actually start the engine. As you saw earlier on in the video, um, it's completely flat, this car. Uh, so Pete is sat in the Suzuki and we're now gonna start, try and start the engine using this ring jump pack. There we have it. It has successfully restarted the engine for us. Uh, so if you're in the middle of nowhere and you've had a flat battery here, this would have certainly saved your bacon. Um, so, job done on that front. Okay, so the engine is now running on Swift again. Lights are on, electrics are all on, obviously because the engine's running. Um, all thanks to the ring device. As you saw in the video, the battery was completely dead. We did completely kill it. Uh, all we had to do was, took about 20 seconds at most, connect that ring uh, uh, power pack up to the uh, battery itself got in the car and you started first time. So if you were in the middle of nowhere or even on your driveway even at home, flat battery, this could really save your day. Uh, so it's uh, in our opinion a very useful little product for having these. The fact that it's not overly sized as well and it's portable and you can take it around with you, uh, it's something that I really couldn't recommend enough to keep in the car. I mean, everyone's carried jump leads historically, but you need another car to uh, obviously do a jump start with. With this, you can do it on your own. So uh, an ideal thing to keep in the car for uh, your safety and your uh, peace of mind when you're out and about on the roads. Okay, so an alternative, uh, if you have potentially problems with a battery, uh, or you might have an older vehicle or a vehicle with a particularly powerful engine uh, that might just, you know, from time to time drain the battery. Um, this is another product from Ring. It's their workshop charger, their automatic workshop charger. And what this does, it gives you the option to put a trickle charge through the battery. Uh, it does have engine start facilities, so if you need to get going quickly in the morning, if you've got a dodgy battery, you can bump start the engine like the other Ring product we showed. Uh, but the beauty of this is you could leave it plugged in on this overnight. Uh, we have worked on a few Ferraris in the trade, uh, supercars that tend to have the, especially the more classic vintage ones, that tend to have the, uh, the knack of batteries just spontaneously draining. So the idea with this would be you could connect it overnight to your battery, leave it on a trickle charge, and know in the morning you're going to have battery charge to get the car going. 
Uh, the beauty of this is it can be used on up to 12 litre engines, so you can even get up to commercial vehicles. Um, and it really is a more sort of robust industrial type charging unit. Uh, so not as practical as the other one, obviously it's not designed to be, it's not designed to be a mobile unit this. But if you do have a problematic battery, uh, it's quite a useful, uh, it's just a very useful uh, piece of kit to have in your workshop or garage, uh, just to make sure that you don't have any problems in the morning with that battery. Thank you for watching another product demonstration video on the Trusted Car Products YouTube channel. We really appreciate all the support that you give to the channel, so please like, share and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Uh, any comments, we do try and reply to all of them as soon as possible, so please comment below if you have any questions or things to say on the video. And please check us out at www.trustedcarplus.co.uk and on all social media as well. We're on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and we appreciate all the support on there too. Thank you very much.